Hello, everyone. This is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Raise the World Weibo Let's Play. We continue for episode seven from turn thirty-nine in the spring season of two hundred two. So, coming back into game, you can see that we have a couple of territories, and we've been expanding south, trying to open up space for He Yi to expand, and it's been going pretty well. There's some empty land for him here. He has actually conquered these, I believe. I think he owns Lujiang. And we're gonna stay around this area for a little bit longer to see if we can bump into him or perhaps start killing his army so that he replaces the generals with himself. Uh, it's the uh, best we can hope for. There's a chance he's also doing assignments, then we really can't do much about that. We're gonna leave him in a good spot regardless, and we'll start our journey to the northeast and start raising from the corner of the map with our main army, which is going to get a real army this time. We're going to move to Jiangling here and think about what we want in our army setup. So currently, we have Zhang Liao, who is going to give a really good resolve of the righteous if we are weaker than the enemy. That might not be the case once we start recruiting units. So argument could be made that we remove him and instead pick someone like Deltran to join us. We might not need her assignment because most people are pretty okay with us. The other effect is going to be our personal victories. This is going to stack all the way to negative 50, which is going to be a real problem for people not on the field. And I do realize he's probably a spy because I miss the recruitment here of Cao Cao by a turn. So worry not, all we have to do is swap out his weapon and make sure he doesn't have any weapons at all. Nope, nothing please. And we're going to fire him because he's most definitely a spy from Cao Cao and it's just not worth the risk. We're going to use his position first before we fire him because this is spring and we could afford to wait one moment. He can give us some population. How about this set item? That's actually a pretty nice one. Let's go to reset for the other boy. Maybe. Maybe just so we get reach. Not that this is important, so we'll spend the money here. And that's useless. That's useless. Okay, so we'll just pay for these. And what item did we get? We got a merchant which is a set item, I guess. Yep, Monopoly. We're gonna get Reach here instead of Vengeance. Yeah, I think that's fine. And now we can fire him. Say goodbye, it's gonna save us some salary as well. We're not going to banish him. It's only 800. I'm just gonna remove him from office. Well, no. Release from service. Just say goodbye. Yeah, and his bonus is the one that we don't really care for. Now, as for these characters, we might want to recruit one to replace Deltran to do the Simon. The bonus of getting Deltran in the army is that she can give us pretty decent, um, what do you call it, siege weapons, so that we can attack cities on the first turn. But maybe it's not necessary. Yeah, we're looking for generals with inspiring surge, I guess, because assuming the position's the same, we want wisdom. Uh, I think she will stay. I feel John L goes back, Tara and Ubu must stick together. Maybe we bring him out instead of stashing him back at home. He can come out and basically be a burn officer for us. Melee evasion for own retinue causes scare. Has a very nice weapon. Maybe. Not completely sold. Our daughter for a replenishment bonus, which we're going to be pretty maxed out. 
Yeah, not sure. Maybe we just keep John out, since we do have the relationship build up already. And his bonus will just be a kind of last resort once our army get defeated in those situations. I um, think we're going to go with the retinue upkeep discount, especially since we are going to plan out a whole army. Mustering turns is going to be really good, actually. Uh, I think the default turns eight, so you can think of it as eight turns to full health. So each turn will give us 12.5% mustering. And as you reduce those mustering turns, the percentage goes up, right? If you go down to four turns, that's 25%. If you go down to two turns, that's additional 50%. So it's going to be huge uh, with the base replenishment on top of the mustering going above the 50% cap. So I think if we drop mustering to about two turns, it's just instant one turn replenishment for any new recruits, which we'll try to test out right now. Uh, what units do we want? Technically, our camp crushers are really good. Uh, the downside being they're not cavalry, so the army movement will be hurt, and we want to maintain that movement. I think we might grab the rest of the swords and, and then maybe just see down calves and just go full cav and leave drawn out empty. And then he can be like, you know, ready to die for the bull for healing. Even though this is quite wasted. 10 point red. Yeah, that's actually really good. Okay, so let's say we are willing to slow ourselves down. Then we would get camp crushers. 280, 265, 320. I guess they are cheaper than cavalry. We're going to go into debt. We're totally ready to go into debt. Four ninety six. Maybe, maybe it's hard and actually chills, and then we actually get see it on cab instead, just because we really like the charge bonus on these. So this is our debt setup. Minus one thousand a turn. That's totally acceptable. That's actually, that's actually nothing. Before we commit, though, I think one general is going to get a title. He's family. It's gonna be John L. So John L is currently our Grand Commandant. That's six percent. Yeah, a lot of fudging around because we're trying to get some savings. Money is still tight. We don't make anything, so we got to be careful. General to the left. Yeah, let's get these. Yeah, let's get these, and then immediately. General off the right. All right, we'll live with that. And if we look at the mustering, right, it's a three turn muster right now, which is giving us 27%. If we reduce that, it's going to be even higher, but basically two turns to four right now. There's a way to get it insanely high, right? If we drop mustering by a few more, um, which I think we're going to require some buildings or Maybe a couple other reforms. I don't think there's any more. I think we got all the red ones. Yeah, that might be it. That might be all we can do in terms of mustering bonuses on this reform tree. We're just going to come here and grab this, which, oh, right. Complications because of this. We actually need a level two granary building for military supplies, which is actually useful. Replenishment rate. Okay, so we're going to be planning that out. Uh, maybe in Xiangyang then. Don't tell me it requires a small city to build. It requires a small city to build, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> well, we just downgraded these. We could upgrade it back or we can just capture another city in the future which I think is the more reasonable thing to do. Anyhow, we're still in a war with Liu Bell. We're still hunting for Liu Bell. So there's still things to do in this area. We're happy here. Simon's still active. Everyone is good. Nothing to build in Hula Gate Pass, which is our only building. Uh, we could technically upgrade tax buildings, I guess. 
Those are free. And uh, we downgrade to a small town. The problem is it just has no garrisons, which I think is not a problem. We're ready to lose these. Let's get some more money there. Not interested. I think that's it. We're just going to wait for this army to get ready and we'll move on from here. Diplomacy, I doubt there's much to do. We about had enough. I think the fact that we recruited our army is going to strengthen our diplomacy dealings. Everyone's going to be more scared of us with relative military strength. But right now, everything looks good. Let's continue. Non aggression pack, no thanks. Well, did we equip the seal? I forgot to check that actually. Ooh, Zhang Zhang's faction is destroyed. Well, um, we like both of them. I think we need to improve our relationship with Zhang Dao a bit more. I might have that opposite. Okay, I think we're all Othorn now. There's no friends. Okay, okay, then, I mean, it's the same either way then. No problems there. Not the skill tree we're looking for. All right, who has the items? Taran has it, so we did equip it. I mean, that's great. Prestige, satisfaction. That's really all we're looking for here. We got satisfaction boost here. We're trying our best with satisfactions. There are some faction-wide bonuses we could go for. Counter spying, character. I think character experience, given that Taran's still trying to level up, is probably quite good. I can go for trade influence, no thanks, satisfaction, morale for own army, replenishment. We're already maxed on the replenishment part. Hmm. Actually, yeah, because 27 is actually coming from muster and we're not maxed because we're dipping down. We can use this for now. Sure. We'll be ready to move next turn. Not much else is going on. Ooh, rebel army. They can just take this and then we'll burn it down afterwards. Or maybe Tulsa will take it before we get there. Much more likely. All right, let's see if we can start some new spying shenanigans. Not the case right now, but maybe in the future. I think aside from another diplomacy check, we're pretty much just done. I mean, does he have anything to give me? Oh, he has cash. Well, he has a lot of cash. I mean, that pays for a turn. Military access. Everyone's going to like us a bit more. We could potentially vassalize Don Draw's faction. What a difference the army makes. Okay, so that's pretty much all we're going to end up doing. I think the only thing we might want to consider is paying for favor. We're hanging on barely. At least he's still the enemy. Yeah, so we'll keep pounding him. That's going to be the goal here then. Let's continue. Uh, coalition? This is different. I might take this deal, but not with money. With items, because Tsao's Hall, mm, he has all those schemes. And we're not destroying him. He's our trade partner as well, so there's a lot of reasons to keep him around and make sure he's happy with us. So I think we do make a couple moves here. 
We don't need, uh, this is a great item usually, but we don't need population growth for administrators. So that's completely useless for us. Okay, we can take one back. Uh, stone pig, white thor. We'll keep the horse. Huh. Maybe I can make him like me a bit more. Because it's trending in a bad direction. Okay, how about you take the better horse? And also take this back. Five points. That's going to shift the attitude. We're in a coalition with Hal's Hall. What an interesting set setup. Oh, Liu Bell, we found him. Okay, let's go. And the army's ready too. So perfect. We'll take both. Yeah, we're gonna get plenty of good items. That's not something we have to worry about. So Dobal's army somewhere here. We'll stay on the road. You know what? We're gonna march. Like, we're not gonna be scared of him. Now that we have an army, we need to fight more. Too low. Now remember, we could intimidate people with three points of momentum for a big burst of diplomacy value as well. So that's always an option. Where did Liu Bao go? He's somewhere over here. I mean, it's up to Cao Cao. It's only us and Cao Cao in this coalition. There he is. We got him. I hope Huang Zhong's also here. Might be the case. I think he starts on the same army. Ooh, so many people. Okay, no wisdom. Bandit girl. Guard. Okay, these aren't bandits. Ooh, Jia Kui. Jia Chong's father. Uh, Cao Cao's general. Oh, I thought Taran hit his next level. That would have been huge. Um, let's see. Own Brett new charge speed. Increase armor piercing damage for the whole army. Plus attack speed for himself. I think that's the direction we're going. We can give you a better setup. Guess satisfaction is not a big thing for him. But that's probably the best item for him at this point. Hong Zhong? Yep. We got two targets. Hong Zhong's injured. Interesting. So what are we going to get from them? Let's see. The old man's going to be part of the scholars list. 20% character experience is going to be great for... I don't know if that's faction-wide, actually. That might be just for Lu Bu, which is quite a waste. But if it's faction wide, then we can get Taran ranking up quicker. And then five tigers would be completed, except for Ma Chao, double ammo. Also questionable if it's for Dubu only. We'll see how the bonus is applied afterwards. This is a minor settlement, so we do get to fight this one on the field. We have a real army, they have a real army, they have two wimpy range units. I believe. They have a settlement of sorts, right? Because it's a tool maker. That makes it slightly trickier. But we're gonna fight it. I think we can actually do a full on assault. Um, it might be kind of foolish, but 
it'd be kind of fun. Uh, we can take casualties. We have high replenishment. So even if we take over half casualties, we'll be bouncing back within two turns. It's raining. Mm. I mean, we can still be smart about it. Approach from the tree line. Any duels potential? Let me get closer. I assume Nobel's gonna be unbreakable, given that he's a commander. Oh, he's not unbreakable. That might change things. Cause we could do a very aggressive strat. Um hold on, I'm gonna micro here, think about it. Where we don't try to roar the entire enemy army. But we just tried to roar. Hold on, I gotta get them up here. We just try to roar their front and get as much as we can. And, and basically just chase them with our cavalry right after. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna just squeeze by. Let me get in. Don't dismount me. Don't dismount me. I wanna drag as many things as they can. Guess this is all. That's fine. Charge in here. Charge, 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 charge. Ooh, ooh. Warning shot hit me. So, uh, hold on. We can't do anything for a while. This is bad. It's 120 second cooldown on the warning shot. The only thing Huang Zhong is good at. Alright, I guess we'll just fight this one in a more traditional sense for now. I was going to chase with these, but 120 seconds, way too long. Should be able to kill him during this time. Oh, they have a little reaction there. That's fine. Do a roar. I think we can now charge. I don't think their units are actually braced. We should be able to just take this by force. We have enough units on this capture point. Nobel's gonna go down. Yep. He's gonna be one angry son. We should be able to roar in 48 seconds. There's no cooldown display here, which is interesting. Alright, we got the gates. We overwhelmed it. We're just gonna force our way in. Get a fight. He's not fighting, which is why he can't roar. Here, go after that, and you go after that. And Liu Qi also died. I mean, we just have way too much attack power, especially with our Smoldering Fury all charged up. They have no chance. Forcing our cavalries into their infantry of Jin is not going to be easy, but... Oh, it's coming! I guess it only has a 10 second overhead display, which is interesting as well. Maybe 15 for the duration? I don't mind just getting these units. It is totally worth it, because we just basically charge into them. And we make sure they don't bounce back, ever. Gonna move up to chase. Chase, make sure we get all the flags down. Make sure they don't bounce back. Maybe was gonna go over here. Chase that archer. Like Lebo still has his other abilities. Our other two cavalry just completely routed. Make sure they don't run around. Slam them. Help out. That's actually a bad charge target for them. Just gonna send one over here. Definitely messy. Well, like I said, we have plenty of replenishment. Just sent that one over. Mm, it's actually just Camp Crusher time. They should go after that unit. Camp Crusher should. Hit these, hit these. Army loss has kicked in, it looks like. I 
Give my units unbreakable. I think that's over. Costly? Actually, not really. Pretty sure we'll be bouncing back in about a turn. Maybe two, given these two units took a lot of damage. Now, we don't have to hold this territory to heal. We basically bury down because we. Ooh. Join the other five Tiger Brothers. We'll raise this for momentum. And we hit our Duke rank, it looks like. Nice. So, we have six points. We can max out a few things. We now have this upkeep situation that we're paying for. So I think this might be what we go for first. Um, Spy's been working out pretty nicely for us. Character experience, character salary. That one's also super tempting. But right now, most of our money is on units, I think. Ooh, this is tough, because this means Taurin can get his heal faster. And this will just have to wait. Basically, we hit this milestone, and we hit this milestone, and we get those bonuses. Yeah, that looks pretty nice, actually. And we're Duke. That was fast. Now, we're probably going to be able to get king rank without holding much land, just because personal victories can continue to give us more prestige. I'll have to look at the numbers. We might have to hold some land. But we'll do the calculations. I don't actually think I want to trigger king. It's 190 points. Okay, there's only 60, uh, 75 points left, uh, 65 points left from prestige for us to grab. So we're definitely not going to hit king based off of that. Which is good, because it's more fun to look at the map that's empty. And when we hit three kingdoms, like no one can actually become three kingdom. Oh, we did it. Tauren's ready. Heavenly presence. We got the heal. So even if we don't get He Yi, we're, we're, we're solid. Xun Yu is not on our list, so we don't need to go kill him. I think the only person that Liu Bao has is Gan Ning, who is on our list. We have 50% max heal. So yeah, everyone's going to be pretty topped off in a turn or two. I think our job with Liu Bao is done. I don't think we need to do much with him. Contract's going to last 10 turns, no problem. We just enter a coalition with Cao Cao. That's the tricky part. Should we honor it or should we just tear it up and start killing these armies? Because there are so many targets on the field for us. Tall Tall's bonus. Kind of worthless. Oh, we get maybe we get too much prestige from that to go after them. She will probably get recruited by another faction. That's a good one. That's so so. That's underrated, but I think he's in the north. We should go north. That's a good one. I think Ma Charles is the only one out west, but he's so young, he's not going to die. So there's there's no worry about him dying of old age. Wang Gai might die of old age. Oh, that's also a good one. But he's south east kind of far yeah i mean still Hei, but we no longer really need him so we can kind of just leave him in a good spot finish him off later he's also young anyways that's good our court has something what's going on right director i'll oh, just open positions oh we have prime minister now that's an important one, actually. And I don't think we have anyone who's great for that.
Yeah, we just don't. Draw now with the campaign movement range. It's okay. I wouldn't call it great. Uh, who can we get? Who can we get to help us out here? I think that's more of an army recruitment one for himself. Are there any marriages out there that would make sense for this? I mean, we would love to get Sun Tse, but uh, <laughs> Sun Quan is not, not a good replacement for that. Yuan Tan? Yuan Shang? Yuan Xi? Yuan Shang has favorite son, which I think gives a little bit of extra money. But not really worth it. I could probably steal Ma Chao through a marriage, can I? Yeah, but that's that's not what we want. We want to beat him up, not ask him to join the faction. Kong Rong, Gong Sun San, Lady Mi. I mean, we killed Liu Bei, so. I don't think there's any good marriage partners. I mean, we can get his son, which I think... No, doesn't have any special abilities. He has special ability. He has a lot of food, which we don't need because we have no land to farm. I don't think we have anyone. Like, his son... has some bad bonuses. He's not on our list. We could technically grab him. And make him our prime minister. He would have at least the base stats of a commander. Hmm. Maybe. Might be the best option, to be honest. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got we got good stuff going on here. Let's uh let's dump him all the bad ones. Seven point uh two separate deals? Two separate deals. Lujan's gonna have some good item. And it's just another character we can get some faction wide bonuses from, so I think we definitely do this. The fact that we saw a gold item. And we have a character who could equip it, our burned officer. There's no better options. We kill too many generals. We executed most of them. Yeah, he's not on the list. Welcome. Opponent in peace. We'll get some food production. Yeah, it's useless. Um, but we get this. We get one extra assignment. We get five faction support. We get some more redeployment cost discount. We get some more starting rank. So like overall, I think it's okay. He has no trait that's impacting faction-wide bonuses. We'll give him some extra authority, so that's going to be satisfaction gained that way. Not sure we care about trade influence that much. It's We only have one trade partner. Hmm, interesting default horse. Yeah, definitely not the sharpest tool, but uh, until we get someone better, he's going to have to do. Ask for this marriage, it makes him free, so why not? Now, the surprise is we saw that they have armor. I mean, they do have the armor smith in Chengdu, so that makes sense that they would have it. They just didn't have a champion to equip it on, which is the real surprise. But where is his dad? There he is. Okay, we would have to give you... I mean, we would never use that one. We would never use... It's 10 points. It's quite expensive. We would not use this, but it would limit our spying options against him. I guess we don't need this. And the rest will... We'll make a payment.
足下慷慨仁义，我等感激不尽。Look at that, Mr. Fatigue Immune with Guan Yu's weapon. Oh, for his own retinues as well. So that's definitely good. Looking nice. I don't think they're at war with Cao Cao. If they are, they could take the capital. If the Yellow Turban take the Emperor, I think the Emperor's just gone. Where are we going? That's the question. We're done with them. Ma Chao looks good. He's not going to get killed. Xu Huang's over here. I should go I should go after him, actually. This is an easy target. He's probably the five elites. He got a good weapon. That's who we should be targeting. We're going to leave He Yi behind because we got infinite heal. So we're all set. We're going to just basically move north and then start our northern journey. Excellent. Um, can we do some assignments with our new prime minister? No. There's no peasantry income. So he's just going to chill as the Prime Minister. Sounds good. Doesn't hurt us. And that that is it, I think. And unless there's new spies. Lu Meng. Hmm. Let's get a foot in the door here. So they have one. Looks like they have maybe two stacks on the field. Unless one of them is administrating. Administrate. Administ administering. Right. Administrating. That's not a word. Uh, do they have. They have Tai Shi Ci. They have Zhou Tai. I want Zhou Tai to join me, actually. He'll be like a separate army by himself to help us raise. It'll be perfect. I mean, as long as they're alive and well, we don't have to do too much to them. My question is, why why can't I do that? Oh, he's on cooldown. Okay, we got him in between the cooldown turn. Maybe he got knocked out or something like that. Uh, should we look for gunning? I guess we can. Just a set amount of cost. Yuan Tan's married over. He does not have gunning. Oh. Then we really have no use for them. Like, she's useless in this case. She's leading an army in Kui Path. Okay. Just, just no. Uh, we could get some value out of this, I guess. Instead of completely abandoning plus 14. What a, what a setup. Do it and get killed. Yeah, do it. It's even better than just disowning her. Make Liu Bao kill her. Like, it still goes through. I get the bonus and she dies. So... Wins all around? That's pretty much all we can do here. Oh, technically... Technically, we can get a little bit extra income. And he can get some levels, because this will produce some peasantry. All right, that's all. Ah, uh, no. I'm a duke. What are you? <laughs> no about summon himself back here. I mean, he's going to try to tear through this area. Wait, why is she returning? Wait, she got caught and... He didn't execute her? She's gonna come back? Lu Bao Hui, a new daughter. Not a bad name. Speaking of names, can we see our kids? I don't think so. I wanna see the actual character. Yeah, we can't actually see our names. Like, I can only see the pinyin right now. Yue An, Peaceful Moon, Hu, Tiger, Bao Hui. So, Treasured and Wisdom. These are good names, if it turns out to be the right characters. Pretty healthy. I don't think we need to do much there. We're going to go after Xu Huang. I think that's the only target that's on our list nearby. Man, can we move far. 
Back to Hulal Gate in two turns. Kind of nuts. Look at our coverage of our movement. It's actually kind of good. All right, we'll let Nobel take our land. We gained a trait. Fury, not bad. Discourse of the State. That is a good... Uh, that usually is a good item. But then I thought about it. We don't actually have land. So eight point authority from this is actually better than the corruption reduction. Like, we don't have corruption. What is corruption? We don't have a bureaucracy. Right, so he's come back. Plus three. That's manageable. We probably want to do um, interference just to be safe. Okay, and we'll let him slowly gain points. 8 and 20. That's decent. And maybe we'll convince... Wait. He summoned him. Administrator of Poyang. He's got removed from office. If we can convince Zhou Tai to flip, I don't even want him crossed off from our list. Kind of like John L. I just want him. And if I can flip him and take control of Poyang, that would be kind of nice too, actually. So that, that could be a play we'll work on. Court physician, right, because Sun Tzu's court is very, very big. He has his unique mechanic. I'm not going to peace out with him yet. I'm going to let the... Oh, I could peace out with Huang Zhu, though. I'm not going to go down and kill him. Do you have anything you're not using? Nope. How about... Nope. How about... Nope. Alright, then no. We'll stay at war. Yeah, we're in-laws now. Think about it. Yeah, Yuan Shu was dead, so new faction leader. We assassinated him with his family, which means all of them are dead. No. Like, we assassinated him, then recalled the mother and son to get the items. Which is why he has no one in his family left, because we also killed the daughter. And yeah, we did bad things to the Yuan clan. Forward. Ah, Li Dian. Unfortunately, he's just a traitor. Wait, where did he go? We came all the way back and he's not home? We're gonna try to cross here next turn. See if we can find him. If not, we're just raising all of this. Out of anger. Tal Tal's gonna steal that land. That's the only thing I hate about it. Making Tal Tal bigger and bigger. It's gonna be a problem. Right, it's spring again. We did not get this worked out, so we also did not get this worked out. There's a couple of buildings that we need. So we can't get this. I think we're done with the red tree for now. These are not that useful for us. Cataphracts are nice, but we're probably not going to use them. Character salary for corruption increase for five points of satisfaction hit, ten points of satisfaction. Hmm, I mean, speaking of satisfaction, there's other ways. There's like spy ways, but we would need a school building as well. We're pretty locked. Most of these are useless because they're income based. I think then we work towards here. This is going to be the more useful one. We need the temple. Man, there's a lot of buildings we need. These are all useless.
Let's get this first. All right, we'll be able to cross next turn. It's spring again. Let's see. Mess with Leo Bell's faction some more. Increase bonus for cavalry because 75% of our army is cavalry. That's when you get off of these 75% uh, range one with the bonus range. Uh, that one's really good. But this one's definitely great. Starting rank for all recruits. Reset. Ooh, what is your tree like? We did get her. Oh, we do want to reset history. Yes, please. And that's it. What we could do... Oh, she's an assassin. What we could do before we sign those up is... I'm going to fire her anyways. Might as well see what she has to offer. Oh, different, different events now. Well, we still get the reset, which is what we wanted. And that... Yeah... Oh, it came back. Kind of wanted this. Yep, that's pretty much it. I wonder if we could increase the level 1 garrison, which is an empty garrison, right? To the Imperial. This should be the Imperial unit garrison. That's the experiment, actually. It's only 500. Let's see. Usually it should be empty. That upgrade usually gives you the the Imperial one. Maybe maybe it activates next turn. We'll, we'll find out. Are we keeping her just because she has potential for Poison Volley? Mm, tempting. But I think it's a no. She has stock as well. Man, that is tempting actually. So we know she's not a spy because she's a returning spy. So she just needs two more levels and she can basically... Poison Volley defense for us, which is which is pretty good. Which is definitely pretty good. No, we just have her join, basically. That's that's not bad. We'll keep her. So faction wide bonuses, that's all we need him to know. The rest are all extra. How are things going here? Oh, we got fired again? Jotai must be really sad. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do it. Ah, not low enough. We probably need to do some discredit faction at this point. He's at 29. Usually that's enough, like build 25 maybe? Yeah, keep keep doing bad things to him and we'll take him over. This is a pretty fearsome army. Burn officer with Guanyu's weapon. Yeah, takes take some stuff. These are not gonna be that helpful. Yep. I think we can end. And we'll hunt for Xu Huang. I think he's the only easy target. And then we're probably going to start sailing away. Wait, what is Yuan Shao doing down here? Wait, should I hit him? Take it. It's bad for our income, but it's good for the way we want to play the game. He's exposing himself. He's on the list. We got his brother, cousin, depending on how you want to define it. They're both brother and cousin. Oh, and Zhang He for speed. Okay. It's a great army, but we're going after it. How do we get ourselves involved in the war against him? I'm assuming Dong Zhuo can pay. Maybe even Liu Bao can pay us. Yeah, I don't see Xu Huang over there. He's moving down. We'll cut him off here. 
Yeah, I think that's it's gonna be great. Ah, uh, not who we're looking for. Jolthai, come on. We don't have enough points for that. I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, he's got reassigned? Stop playing with our guy's heart. Hmm. I mean, nothing we can do about it. Unless... Unless there's someone else in the court with low satisfaction that we can target. Zhang Hong, perhaps? Because we need more spies if we are going to wipe out his faction from the inside. All right, we're trying. I could improve our standing with the Emperor, actually. Ooh, Han Sui is willing to pay a decent amount. Come on. It's 90, isn't it? Yep. Anyone else? Anyone else? Military access? 2.2 is a little low. Right, we just basically corner him here. Gotta invest in ourselves. Keep that number up. Which maybe should have smashed a few more of his territories. Tsao has taken that, Tsao has taken that. Yeah, we're just giving Tsao free land. Not that He is not doing well, but yeah. Anyhow. Should be able to catch this army. Oh, where, where are you going, buddy? Nobel lost, good. That's a huge stack. Oh, to use to oh Zheng Jiang is willing to join us. She joined Yuan Shao, but she's willing to spy, so she's not a spy. We could grab her. It, the thing is, like, because she's in our pool, like she's not going to be in another faction's pool. So if we don't recruit her, she might just leave the game, and then we don't get her bonus regardless. Mm, I could send her out as a spy into an enemy faction and then hope they summon her and then we fight her that way. But we're going to take her axe before that. Yep. That's going to be the plan. So, uh, we're going to end our episode here, actually. We're going to join, or we're going to peace out with Liu Bao, who's weak, and get into a new contract against Yuan Shao. Absolutely crush him here. Pick up the bonuses for both of these, which I think are the only generals on his fact, like in his faction, are on our list. So we'll be done with him real fast, and we can then. I mean, they have encroached way down south. Like right now, it's pretty difficult for us to find a proper path to raise, like to get things started. We could just start here and just like go through everything in this area. Finish off Lady Mi's faction, but then Zhuge Liang wouldn't spawn in 207, so we gotta keep her alive. Then maybe we kill them and then go north this way, wipe out Gong Sun Zan and Yuan Shao's presence, try to peace out with Lady Mi if we can. Kong Rong, we also need to cross off the list, we might as well kill him. So instead of selling all the way over here and starting from the corner, we might just work our way through the peninsula, but then Cao Cao's just gonna sweep through. But maybe just like a temporary stop pick up some cities, still start over here, and then we'll set it up. We'll get Zheng Jiang to join one of these factions as a spy, maybe into Sun Tzu's faction. Then she can help us from the inside, but we'll take her axe and maybe give it to our daughter or something like that, and we'll go from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you all next time. Bye!